you feel that you instigated or said anything that escalated this incident? Definitely didn't say anything that escalated it, but uh, like I said, I got, I got to do a better job of keeping my composure in those situations. Um, and, and uh, you know, I think it was, an, it was an unfortunate situation for, for both teams involved. Everybody, welcome to Steelers Live. That was Steelers quarterback Mason Rudolph yesterday when talking about the since the incident in Cleveland. ESPN has reported that Miles Garrett said that was not the case in his appeals hearing. But before we get to that, let's take a look at what happened in terms of the suspensions that were handed out to Miles Garrett and Marquise Pouncey. The NFL just announcing late this afternoon that Miles Garrett's suspension has been upheld, meaning he is suspended indefinitely. The good news for Steelers center Marquise Pouncey, his suspension has been reduced from three games to two games, so he will miss this weekend's game against Cincinnati Bengals and the rematch with the Cleveland Browns next Sunday at Heinz Field. His fine, though, was upheld. Back to the issue regarding Mason Rudolph, ESPN reported today that Miles Garrett, when in New York yesterday for his appeals hearing, said that Mason Rudolph called him a racial slur. Let's take a look at what Mason's agents had to say today, releasing a very strong statement saying, quote, according to ESPN in his appeal, Miles Garrett asserted that Mason Rudolph uttered a racial slur toward him prior to swinging a helmet at Mason's uncovered head in a desperate attempt to mitigate his suspension. That is a lie. This false allegation was never asserted by Garrett in the aftermath of the game. It continues to say never suggested prior to the hearing or conspicuously absent in the apology published by the Browns and adopted by Garrett. The malicious use of this wild and unfounded allegation is an assault on Mason's integrity, which is far worse than the physical assault witnessed on Thursday. This is reckless and shameless. It is Thursday and this is usually when we hear from quarterback Mason Rudolph. He did not speak today and said we could look at that statement from his lawyers, but his teammates did not take kindly to the allegations that Miles Garrett said. Let's take a listen to team captain Cam Hayward. I can tell you personally, I went up to Mason right after the game. I said, how did this escalate to that? I mean, he told me, you know, he kept dragging them to the ground and, you know, they were going back and forth, but it never got to a racial slur um, for it to be used um, in your appeal. It's just stupid to me. Own up to your mistakes and move on. All right, so with that all settled and aside, let's take a look at the Steelers' practice report for Thursday. As the same as yesterday, some good news and some bad news. The good news, Deontay Johnson, who is in the concussion protocol, was a full participant for the second day in a row. The same with Ola Adani, and you also see a number of other guys who were either sick or got vets days off. They were full today. Artie Burns limited once again. Not practicing, though, that is where the bad news comes. James Conner and Juju Smith-Schuster, two key pieces to the Steelers' offense. Not practicing two days in a row this week. The Steelers' status report, as always, is released on Friday during a normal week. But for Benny Snell football, the rookie running back, it could be another opportunity for him to showcase his ability. Here's Snell after practice today. You could say so. Um, I'm from Columbus, so it ain't really home. You gonna have more family there though this week? Yeah, definitely. My my family's gonna be. They're gonna be at the game. That's something about Kentucky though too. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's got to be a big deal for you. Right? Um, I don't really see it as that. Like y'all might see it as that, but like I like to take it game by game, step by step. I'm living my dream. That's that. How frustrating was that injury after he had that strong performance in LA? I mean, was it tough to deal with. That? Um, it was it was frustrating because I love football. You know what I'm saying? I love I love my I love my job. I love what I do every day. So um, being away from them, my teammates and you know not being able to practice, it kind of hurt. But um, it made me like value how much I how much I love the game. And Snell, of course, the Steelers' fourth-round draft pick this year, played at Kentucky in college. He is also a native of Columbus, Ohio. That's why earlier in his interview you heard him talking about it possibly being a hum homecoming of sorts. Lots of family and friends there to cheer him on for a big opportunity, possibly for the rookie. That's going to do it for this edition of Steelers Live. Thanks so much for joining me. We will see you tomorrow right here at 4 p.m.